Welcome back to another Creepypasta story video. Today, Creepypasta, I'm going to bring is called Style Go, but before I get into it, I do want to say a few things. First off, the video is one take, so if you do hear me stumble, mumble, fumble, mess up my words, I'm sorry if this is a one take. And second thing, I do want to say, please consider, please consider using code GOONS at GamerSoft.gg. It's code G-O-O-N-S, and you can use that to get 10% off at checkout. Okay, so outside of that, let's get into it. This Creepypasta is called Zalgo. Zalgo is a meme where a popular picture or comic is edited in a way that corrupts it, producing scary results, and the term Zalgo refers to the being apparently responsible for the corruption, whose name is uttered by his victims in Eldritch Manor. Zalgo can be recognized by two words often repeated when he is near. He comes. Zalgo is a being that can be best described as a horror of in incomprehensible form. He is known as he who waits behind the wall as the Nesperdidian Nesper Nesper hive mind. In some circles, he is an eyeless abomination with seven mounts. His right hand holds a dead star, and his left hand holds a candle whose light is shadow and is stained in the blood of Am Dagger. Six of his mouths speak in different tongues when the time is right, and when the time is right, the seventh shall sing along shall sing a song that ends the earth. To invoke the hive mind representing chaos, invoking the feeling of chaos, without order, the Nesperdian hive mind of chaos, Zalgo, he who waits behind the wall, Zalgo. The origin of Zalgo is The origin of Zalgo is a brainchild of Dave Kelly, aka Schmorky, who is a flash animator and something awful goon. It was first mentioned but not seen in parodies of syndicated newspaper comics on the semi-secret page on his official site. Since the meme spread, Schmorky has made several Flash animation animations referencing it. In his own I imitable style, of course, oddly, according to him, Zalgo only affects comics, cartoons, and illustrations, not reality itself. According to, the, according to a presently archived forum post, Schmorky describes Zalgo as thus. I like how people who try to figure out the origin of the meme doesn't even know where it came from originally. I'll tell you where it comes from. From me, I just made it up. Zalgo is something horrible. Zalgo is something that's coming, and it's coming soon. It has nothing to do with Lovecraft, and I'm not a nerdy enough to make those kind of references. Seeing it become a meme kinda killed doing further Zalgo edits in the future. For me, anyway. But maybe I'll do one when you least expect it. In modern media, Zalgo exists as an icon of pre-digital era viral memes, and how technology helps to decimate information quicker than it can be analyzed. As evidenced by the later, by the latter claim, Zalgo is an example of how the internet can rapidly uh, obfuscate or warp information the further away from the source said information is spread. Zalgo's consistent affinities lead towards corruption, death, violence, and insanity. A further reflection of the nature of human insight and how taking and how taking in hazardous information or everything that involves SP, SCP Foundation can lead to one's destruction. Okay, so yeah, that was Algo. You guys have probably seen that before. Um, yet again, uh, I do have a few examples, such as this <laughs> really weird um, Garfield one with um, I forgot the guy's name. And then pretty sure kind of like one that's like, this is lost. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed Zalgo. It took me three times to record this creepypasta video, so I'm not doing it again. Hopefully you all enjoy the creepypasta. <laughs> and yeah, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It does help with the channel. And, you know, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It helps out the channel. I think I already said that. Uh, I have, I have amnesia and or dementia. But yeah, I'll use code goons at 10% off. At, you get 10% off at checkout and all that good stuff. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.